Everybody, welcome back to Plapper. Platypus is the name, and today we are looking at the semi-finals of the tournament. So after this, where well, this is the top four. After this, it's just the finals, and then we have our winner. It's been going on a long time, I'll admit. 170 people, that's a lot of rounds and a lot of uh, things to get through. And uh, we're, we're working on it, though. We're, we're getting through it. But the tournament is still going on. We have one more match to be had. The finals have not been had yet. But we are finally almost there. So the top four we got here are T versus Jace. And then Sturby versus Sushiga. We're going to be watching the Sturby versus Sushiga matches first. And then we are going to be, mo be moving to the T versus Jace. And yeah, you know what? There's no need to dilly, no need to dally. Let's just jump right into the matches. That's what we're all here for. All right, we got Sturby here on the left, and we got Sushiga here on the right. Now, first thing you're going to notice, the Simona train keeps on rolling. I think Simona, having been in the top 32 on like literally every single team, I think we would uh, probably ban her going forward. But let me know kind of in the comments what you think if you want to do another one. They're going to be smaller in scope just to make it so we can actually move through and do this uh, at a more reasonable pace. But I do like that there's a Veldaren scout here. That's kind of interesting. Pay, but like everything else makes sense. I mean, I honestly haven't seen Ice Priest do that much good, but I know with this map, he is good. Um, everyone on this team is being, this is the more interesting team for me. Just because, like, I'm like, Angel is such a weird choice, in my opinion. But, I mean, because you already have kind of doubled up on the healers. But, I mean, obviously, they've made it this far. So, let's go ahead and watch the match. I'm actually interested. Can I, um, after the first move, I want to see what the scout has on him. I'm actually more interested by the scout than I am pretty much everything else. So, we are going to see lots of Simona plays here. Um, yeah, she has the... Practice ring, armor of ice, move, leaders are a vow of justice. Okay, here we go. The Berserker Awake. A level three buff from gear. I don't think I have that. Uh anyway. I don't I don't even know what that item is. So let's see here. We got the shrapnel. We have got maneuver, basic attack. It's really just all the, this is this is the tower guy. This is very interesting. Alright, well, let's see how it goes. Knight's Faith on the scout. I mean, maybe the maybe his damage is like really good. I mean, he has a good trait, if I recall. Like, it's hard for me to remember exactly off the top of my head what it was, how good it was. I do love all the animals around here jumping when she flips her walk. Sorry, it's late. If I go, it's, it's like almost 2 a.m. Wow, he just went hard. I wonder if that was just to steal it, and then this is just like he's wow. man. You know what? Good job, Scout. That is pretty impressive. I mean, that's not insane damage, but it is reasonable. I don't know if Angel can't get rid of it. It looks like Angel didn't get rid of it. Angel must not have the cube. So we are going Prince's Prayer on Simona. We are going to do the combo wombo. We are going to... This is going to... I mean, this is going to be brutal, I feel like. But maybe I'm wrong. But you're going to freeze him. Then you're going to get your turn up again. And maybe you, you just eat a hit here. Oh, interesting. You didn't go first. Wow, good hit. Yeah, I mean... Oh, man. It was kind of slick to move in like that, but it still didn't avoid the first one. But yeah, I mean, Momo's really good, but Momo's counter is basically going to be magic attacks. So their Ice Priest did get to kill the other Ice Priest, but I mean, I think that's a pretty fair trade, given the fact that they lost their Simona. Right, they snipe the Simona, so and this is gonna finish off the Momo, the Ice Priest. So it's again, this is what I'm saying about this team. It feels to me like you got Coco, you got Angel, but like how do you actually win? But I mean I've seen him win him before, but I feel like Simona was doing all the heavy lifting before. But still. It's definitely not a bad team. It just um it's more defensive than I would have suspected. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, you know, Simona do what Simona do. All right, well, it looks like that was conceded there because, I mean, it was pretty much settled. So the very first round is going to Sturby. Let's take a look at the second round between Sturby and Sushiga. And Sushiga has been on the video so far. You have seen him in one of the previous tournament videos. So Sushiga is, like, badass, super powerful. It absolutely has the potential to go all the way. But let's see how it pans out. So here is round two. It looks like they switched sides. However, Sturby totally changed the team they got simona they got gloria 
but now they have Leonide, Butterfly, and Abyss. This is a very different team. I do know that Leonide has had some very tricky play in this tournament. This is I was alluding to this earlier. I saw a play from this earlier. So same team over here. So let's see if we can get to the first movement. Um, and then let's see if I can take a look here at their... Hello? Let's see if I can take a look at him. I believe he has a passive. At the start of battle, uh, the character is immune to negative effects of injured. You get extra HP. Before attacking, if the character's max HP is greater than the target's current HP, knocks the target back one tile. So, before attacking... This will knock characters back. I think that is the crux of what we might be seeing here. I don't know if this is like the all-in strat or if this is just going to be a good unit, but let's find out. Knight's Faith on Butterfly. Ice Assault into Ice Maid Sword. Kind of interesting. I think that it, it's totally fine. Mm, okay, okay. No, they got it. Enchanting Dance. Teleported them out there. Dance of Encouragement. He gets... Okay. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, they knocked someone off with that big AoE. And then they charged Dance of Vigor. I don't even know what's going on. He just... He went sicko mode, bro. He just went fucking sicko mode on everybody. Their team's half gone. I mean, this is... Even if this guy completely gets killed here by Momo, like, what are you gonna do? You lost your Angel. You lost your Simona. Momo is good, but I mean... Momo right there can get knocked off by Simona, probably. Maybe not quite. Man, but even Butterfly's hitting hard. There you go. You just do your thing. My God. I mean, look, she's doing a lot of damage, but... He, he, his job is done. Oh, oh my God. He's so sick. Even the Wheel of Fortune procced his knockback. Oh my god. I mean, he fucking 1v5'd almost, bro. Like, yeah, he died at the end, but, uh, you know, you got him, but at what cost? Holy crap. And then, I mean, this is just GG here. Sorry for the cursor. Right, you're frozen, and now Simona could take all the time in the world to kill you, but we could also just use Erosion. And my god, holy crap. That was a one two punch. Win a fair fight. And then just come in and... Uh, well, that is Sturby winning both the matches. So, Sturby is going to be one of our two finalists. But they're going up against the other finalist, who is going to be either Jace or T. Now, I I don't remember their accounts, but I know Jace is like a PvP like mastermind, it seems like. He, I, I see him in my Discord all the time, just doing matches, beating people, teaching people how to play. Um, so, they definitely have a lot of tactical they have a good tactical mindset i don't know about t i'm sure t i mean t made it this far um but let's take a look here i want to see how t surprises me what, what what teach me what makes t t you know all right so we got t here on the left and we got jace here on the right first thing you're gonna notice there is no simona on t's team here that's feels scary but they are going with lily will instead i don't particularly like lily will however she might be one of the best single target damage dealers but i mean i feel like simona is so irreplaceable but i mean you know what let's see what these characters are made of maybe there's uh you know an infection here infection here um maybe she has some sort of infection i actually don't remember but this is a valder team right so maybe lily will is just for the valder buff i'm not sure sure we're gonna take a look at the teams really quick uh, take a look at their skills once we actually get to look around. Gloria kind of makes it, watching these a little bit annoying because she has the first, the, the pregame action. Excuse me, uh, Judge. I have a pregame action. We got to wait for the first move and then we should be good. Okay, we did it. We waited too long. We waited too long. We waited too long. Some God help me. Oh, there we go. Someone use the skill. Someone use the skill, please. I don't know what's going on in this this world there we go okay so let's take a look you are all in on that you are all in on i mean you know you've got your good stuff the enchanting dance a dance of encouragement healing and you've got a probably a reasonable attack which is a normal attack but uh lily will here you have the the valder so you have extra movement on all your valder allies which is a lot 
You have the extra range. You don't have the extra range. But this ability is insane. And... Oh, no. This does increase the range. Okay, so you're basically here, I think, for the aura. And then having wind walking just staying out of the way huge stats by the way but i mean that does boost that does boost her too she is a valder everyone besides gloria so this is this is all in valder team is that how you say it Ooh, did you buff her with the with the attack up this is a look at all the buffs going on lily will lily will is gonna have some uh some explaining to do here Wow, that's actually super interesting. Not even bothering to use it as an attack. Instead, using it purely as just the AoE buff. Mm, you got the extra movement after that. I, I bet that must be why this character is so good. They get to steal that right away. And they get to use their buff. They have all their movement. Look at this huge movement. Just gets to absolutely destroy the Simona. Lily will is the anti simona tech somehow that was just enough damage to kill her no stress and then that's the core of the team kind of gone right there's not that much more damage there's like pushing cheese strats here but i mean coco isn't going to be doing too much she, although coco does have some knockoff stuff as well but man devout guard didn't protect huh kind of brutal man all right this is a normal attack hitting for a lot of damage wow all right i'm impressed i'm impressed t i have this is the first time i've seen someone bring lily will and i mean she just absolutely erupted simona although i think simona's also would be pretty weak to like a barrel or something like that because she doesn't get any magic defense but also i guess just hit her with high ground from really far away and that works too I don't feel like Jace is going to be able to come back here. Jace is trying. Obviously, there's a lot of gems on the line at this point once you can progress uh, further. But not quite, um, you know, not willing to give up here. But I, I am definitely thinking this is uh, T's victory, at least this first fight. Lily will, Lily will, Lily will. What was I thinking? Obviously, I don't PvP enough, because uh, I wouldn't even have thought about using her, probably. And then Coco is going. Boop. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, there is the first round going to T. Let's jump into the second game. All right. No changes in the team here um, that I see. I think these teams are identical. So, let's take a look here. Let's see if Lily Will can carry this game again. They did switch sides. I'm still not sure if going first or second is in directly an advantage. I It has seemed a bit more... The data implies that it's not quite... Um, that first isn't always better. It's, it may, but I'm sure it changes per map as well. All right. I mean, there you can tell Jace has uh, learned their lesson. They're much more defensive here. Don't want to get too close. Um, you get to play a little more risky... The, uh, the T team does has very little knockback. I, I'm assuming Coco has her three knockback. But I don't... Gloria usually doesn't run her knockback. She has a knockback, but it's very rare to actually run it. So you don't really need to worry about getting knocked off, I don't think. You could play a little more risky. This character doing this strat is so... Actually, like, kind of busted, I feel like. And then you just run into wherever you want to be. There you are. That might be their only thing they do. They just steal that, get a little bit of damage, and run away. My God, it just control alt delete. But that, even though that is a really powerful attack, I mean they have they have their uh, Simona alive. If Simona can get the Lily, will. Which you're probably going to be able to right here. I mean, that's just an insane amount of damage. Ooh, God. Oh, look at that. She ha they have the increased range. That was a three range on Icy Blast. I think that's... Unless that was the knockback. It could have been the knockback. Coco coming in. I mean, honestly, that, uh, that infection mushroom on Simona is pretty darn strong. Just keeping her there. I don't think you have any... You do have a Nana to dispel, but you have to get pretty close. Ooh. Well, no, it didn't even work. Yeah, we weren't close enough. 
Though taking Simona offline for a turn is huge. Momo, my God, this Ice Breeze is hitting hard. I'm not used to mine hitting hard. It's looking pretty good for Jace here. I think Jace has got this one. This is where now you're in a state where I don't think you're gonna be able to get the Simona. You're, they're surrounded. And if you can't kill the Simona, I think you're kind of out of luck. Simona is brutal here. Yeah, because now Simona gets to just do a normal attack. You know, the the Ice Maid Sword is, like, ridiculously powerful for a, a zero energy attack. All right. Well, it looks like T threw in the towel there. They saw that they weren't going to win. So it's actually one and one. We're going to a match three, baby. Let's jump into match three. One T, one Jace. And Nana and Momo coming in, taking out the uh, Lily Will and the Coco. So you notice, like, one thing I really like about this late game meta is that the Valder Scout has turned out to be insane. Just nabbing this on the first turn, like, it's such a powerful move with a silver unit to come up here, take the take this, get an action, throw a Luxite grenade, and then run away to safety and maybe be used later. That's, like, such a nice value for a single silver unit. Now, let's take a look here. We got T on the left. Winter is coming. Yep, not wrong. Oh, big. So Jace brought in the physical shield, right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I mean, you got a physical shield. Come on. Let me let me do a thing. Devout guard usually it lets me do it after devout guard. I don't know why it won't always let me do what I want. Early iron pod stew is good, but it is scary as well because uh, you don't have good healing backup. So yeah, everyone's got the shield. Interesting. It also gives them regeneration and armor of ice, and the armor of ice itself is immune to frosty tiles. Okay. And then you inflict move down. I mean, honestly, it's a crazy good ability. It's just not used that much, but it is very, very good. All right. Interesting that, I think it's the first time I've seen it this tournament. So we got the sudden strike takes three hits you break it you grab it you get an extra turn you're gonna run up luxite grenade the team run away i mean that's a lot of value doom waking all the way back here momo is really good because they are just completely immune to the knockback but ooh, pulling in not for a kill but just to just to kill their simona yep man you got to be careful when momo's on the team T just sniped that Simona. Holy crap. And again, this is Jace's... The only issue with Jace's team is that it is so built around Simona from what I see that... I mean, obviously, there's Ice Priest as well, too. But, like, an Ice Priest does some good stuff. But once that Simona dies, it feels like the team is missing its backbone, right? Um, And so Momo doing the pull into the Anana, it, it's like... It's so hard to play around that line of play. Man, man, what a good... That was such a good play. And this Valder Scout has been great. He might even come in and get, like be able to get a hit here on uh, Inanna, right? That might be where they're going. But now that you got Simona and they don't, right? You're locking down three. We get, we've seen how powerful this is many times in this tournament. They're going to lose a turn. You're going to be able to one-shot them essentially because they have no well you know what actually you only ended up getting that one directly suppression is kicking ass right now even butterfly is doing a reasonable job just a normal auto attack are we gonna see he had it again i wonder if he has the uh thing that gives him his cooldown when he stands by so he just throws it and then runs away you're going to be fine here. You're going to get a big heal, top everyone off. I will say, we do need a little Simona love in here to actually get some damage. No, no damage this turn. Just Berserk away. All right, I don't even have that trinket. Whatever one does that. This is this is such interesting. I haven't seen a battle line like this. They're fighting. They want to win, man. I haven't seen a battle line like this in a long time. But again, the Simona's gone, right? It, it's a numbers game right now, and I think... I think there are Simona is just gonna when I say R, I mean T Simona is just gonna do more damage. Too much damage for Anana to keep up with. 
like if that winter thing ever comes up again because that goes on too long i mean it's just over right goodbye bye bye yep um suppression does have a knockback skill but i don't think they ever use it because you just use devout guard all the time well i was wrong it's right there you know every once in a blue moon you're gonna have it the guard I, there's no way what what is going on up here i wonder if they have a trinket that was i don't know i feel like this guard has it up all the time but i guess if you get the if you have the uh cooldown thing that maybe it just comes up like if you have the thing where you stand by you get an extra cooldown maybe that's just too big and then we can see here it the pushing tactics has eventually come through here i mean ice priest is good suppression is good but they're not gonna beat inana momo combo like as long as you don't get absolutely owned by ice priest here you're totally fine and yeah the damage is not there he's too low so it is uh it is gonna be going to T here in round three. Jace, I wanna say you put up a really good fight. You are incredibly good at this game, especially the PvP. Um, but you know and I bet if you guys played ten rounds, maybe you know, you you would probably come out on top about half. Like you guys alternated rounds here. So good job. Um and also great job to T. You played very well as well. I'm excited to see uh I'm excited to see these finals. The two best players, and I bet someone's going to get knocked off by a dumb play. Not a dumb play, but you know, it's like this map, you're going to get knock off, knocked off. In the beginning, you could see people getting knocked off by mistake and be like, oh shit, I lost my character. And now it feels like calculated risk. You're like, I'm going to push them off, but they're going to push me off, but I'm getting the tempo because I'm knocking their character off first, so it's going to be fine. But there we go. So our final is going to be T versus Sturby. So guys... Thank you very much for watching the tournament. We've got one more video coming up for the finals. And then I am going to start distributing the $500 and, or $600 in prizes out to all the different players, 16 players. So it's going to be kind of crazy. But yeah, if you like the video and you want to support PvP and Sword of Convalaria, then yeah, like, subscribe, share the video. And uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these after the next one. Right now, I'm thinking we're going to lower the scope, make it... 1632 people that way we can get through it in a couple days instead of a couple weeks and then uh have more maybe crazy restrictions more interesting metas you know band picks of course but maybe we'll do something a little bit different maybe we'll do like a um a theme team right like you can only bring all your units have to share a tag like they all have to be union they all have to be drifters something like that that could be interesting anyway that's all for this one, guys. Thank you very much. For platypuses, for platypus. I'll see you on the flip flops. Bye. Hi.